No, sir. No. Okay. So we have only written the rules that select the longest carbon chain including the functional group. Uh, it's Saturday we do it, sir. Yes. How many rules we have written? Check. How many rules we have written? Deck ten, sir. Up to here we have written. Yeah, till ten. Deck. Okay. Deck. So let me remind you one more time. If you have not written the rules for writing the IUPAC name, let me discuss one more time because this is important. Okay. Let me remind you and let me learn because this is important because IUPAC is coming in this this time. In the previous session, IUPAC was removed from the 10th standard syllabus, but this time, this year, we're going to have the IUPAC nomenclature in our syllabus. I have checked yesterday in the previous year. So we need to deal with this one because this may create a problem. Okay. Let me explain you. First of all, when we are just going to write the name of, uh, when we are just going to write, write the name, look at this, Madhya. That's why I, I asked you to turn on your camera. Madhya, look at this. Okay. So if you are talking about that, a name, a prefix, when we are having an IUPAC name, it has four parts. One is prefix. Prefix. Okay. Another one is another one is one is prefix. Okay. Another one is okay. Root. Third one is saturation indicator, then suffix. Okay. These are the four parts. Prefix can be one or more than one. It can be or not be. If it is present, if it is present, then Okay, if it is present, then it can be one or more than one. Got it? It can be one. This one you understood? Yes, it can sir. be one or more than one. Root and saturation indicator are compulsory things. Root and saturation indicators are compulsory things. And suffix? What about suffix? Hey, Madhya, are you doing something else? Madhya. What are you doing? Nothing. Sir. You are writing something else. That's why I ask every student to turn on your camera. Then is suffix. Suffix is can be or cannot be. But if it is present, then it can be only one. Okay. So IUPAC, when we are just writing the name of a chemical compound or a hydrocarbon compound, then there are the four parts in that name. One is prefix, second is root, third is situation indicator, and fourth is suffix. Got it? Now, if we are talking about this one, okay, uh, prefix, who's, they are the they are different, different types of functional group we have. Like we have carboxylic acid, COH. Like we have aldehyde, CHO. This is carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid. Okay, we have aldehyde, aldehyde. We have ketone, ketone. We have uh, alcohol, alcohol. We have alcohol. OH is alcohol. Okay. Now, as you know that these are the functional group, these are the main functional group and their names are written as suffix. Main functional group, these are the main functional group and their name are, are, are written as suffix. Their name are written as suffix. Like for carboxylic acid, we use oic acid. We use for aldehyde, we use al. For ketone, we use on as suffix. And for alcohol, we use al. Sorry, om. All. Okay. So these are the suffix. But there are some functional group. Their name is written as prefix. These names are written as suffix. Written as suffix. Okay. And there are some group like chloro, like bromo, like iodo. Okay. Like nitro or a carbon chain. 
like one carbon chain is CS3, like two carbon chain C2H5, like three carbon chain C3S7. So their names are written as prefix. Prefix functional group. Prefix. Prefix functional group. Functional group. Got it? Got yes, it? Yes. yes. Okay. So again, Madhya and you, why you have turned off your camera? If I turn on your camera, Amar, are you there? Are you there? Yes, sir. So why are you not turning your camera? Sir, sir, so can you, I can stop? So my laptop gets stuck then. That's why I don't turn it on. Okay. So now you understood? Adhiya, you understood? Are you there? Uh, so I'm not lagging. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, sir. So, my laptop is lagging. Okay, okay, it's okay, it's okay, I'm not. So if you are having this, these these functional groups are used as suffix and these uh, are used as as prefix. Okay. For example, if you have chlorine group attached, then you will write prefix chloro, bromo, iodo, nitro, one carbon group, one carbon chain, methyl, two carbon chain, ethyl, three carbon chain, propyl. Okay. And if you are having these functional groups, then these functional groups are going to have their names written as. When these functional groups are going to have their names written as suffix, means oic acid, al at the end, means their names are written at the end as suffix. So now moving to the next one here. So prefix can be one or more than one. Root, the number of carbon chain. For example, if we have selected the five carbon chain, the longest carbon chain is five. Okay. Then, then we use root as, then we use root as for five carbon pent, for six carbon hex, for two carbon eth, okay, for five carbon pent, okay. And the situation indicator is the indicator in which we are going to have, if we are having double bond, okay. If we are having double bond between carbon carbon atoms, so we'll use E. If we have triple bond between carbon carbon atoms, then we use Y N E E. If we have all single bonds, we will use E. Okay, so please add suffix. So please note it down. Note it down. Note it down fast. Done? Noted? Tell me noting. Noted fast.
done not okay, fast say uh, uh, what are the examples of suffix example of suffix like oic acid for coh group oic acid for aldehyde cho group we have al for uh, ketone group we have on for alcohol group we have oh sorry on Done. Then sir. Okay. Let's move further. So if we are just talking about this one, if we are having, let's talk H two O. Okay. Let let write the names of uh. We have reminding the rules for the IUPAC. The first rule was select the longest carbon chain, including the functional group, followed by double and triple bond. That's you have written the rule. Check in your notebook that you have written this one or not. Select the longest carbon chain, including the functional group. Madhya, check it. Madhya, are you there? Madhya. Yes, sir. Why have you turned off, turned off your camera? So select the longest carbon chain, including the functional group. Including the function. Okay, for example, this is OH. And uh, there are some functional groups that are going to have their own carbon. Like we have CUH, this functional group is going to have its own, ca own carbon. Like we have CO, ketone, like we have CHO, so they have their own carbon. Okay, then we should select those. If, if the functional group is going to have its own carbon, hey, just look at this. If the functional group is going to have its own carbon, then this should be in the chain. This carbon should be in the chain. And if there are some functional group that are not going to have their carbon, then the carbon which with it is attached, that should be in the chain. For example, this is the longest carbon chain. This is a simple one. Let for example, if I'm having C, C, C and like we have COH group here. Okay. So you cannot select the longest carbon chain like this. This will be wrong. Why? Because you have left the carbon of the functional group not in the chain. This is not in the chain. So you have to take this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. This 5 carbon. And the second one. And the third one it is COH group. Then you have to select the, including the functional group. Now you have to choose this one. The functional group sh carbon should be in the chain. And it will be written like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, this 4 and 5 COH. And on the second carbon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then on the second carbon, this is 2 carbon chain. So you can do it like this way. This is the, this and this is the same. This and this is same. So what you are going to do is that the functional group carbon should be in the chain. Got it? Followed by double and triple bond. Followed by double and triple bond. Means if you are having a longest carbon chain like this, but if you select it like this way, so it is one, two, three, four, five. It's okay. If you select it like this way, if you select it, it like this way, it is also 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is 5. But if I'm having this double bond here, then this white you will not take. You have to take the carbon which is going to have double bond and triple bond in the chain, in the main chain, okay? You cannot left the double bond and triple bond out of the chain. Got it? So what is the what was the first rule? That select the longest carbon chain including the functional group followed by double and triple bond. 
Got it? For example, if I'm having this carbon chain, let's suppose, and we have CHO like this. So should I take it like this way? Is one? Should I take it like this? No. We should take it. Including the like a functional group. Functional group carbon should be in the chain. So we should take it like this way. This is the first carbon. This is second. This is third. Four. And five. Okay. Then the second rule was that the log, uh, numbering should be done in such a way that the functional group should get the lowest possible number followed by double and triple. Means the and what are the main functional group? Carboxylic acid will be given first preference. Then after carboxylic acid, we'll have aldehyde. Then we will have ketone and then we will have alcohol and then we will have double bond and triple bond and then we will have chlorine, bromine, iodine. These are in the same methyl, ethyl, etc. It's in the same. Okay. So if we are going to number this one, the number should be less number should be given to this than double bond and triple bond. And then this. For example, for example, if you are going to have this carbon, okay, and if you are going to have OH group here and chloro group here. So numbering should be done in such a way that the main functional group should get the lowest possible number. So number should be done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that alcohol should get the number 2. If you do it like this way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then chlorine will get the number 1. But here, alcohol will come at 4. So it is not so. Numbering should be done in such a way that the functional group should get the lowest possible number, the main functional group, according to their priority. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes, sir. Third, third was, third was, third rule was, what was the third rule? That if there is more than one prefix is present, then their name should be written in alphabetical order. For example, if you have one chloro here, okay, and one C2H5 group here, and one CS3 group here and one alcohol group here. So numbering should be done in such a way that the main functional group should get the lowest possible number. So here we will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the correct way. If you do it like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then this main functional group is getting the 6 number. No, it is not so. So you have to do it like this way. Numbering should be done in such a way that the functional group should get the lowest possible number. And if there is more than one prefix present then, the name should be written in alphabetical order. So we have at two position we have chloro and at four position we have ethyl and at five position we have ethyl. Okay, let's suppose if we are going to have uh, bromo at first uh, six position, bromo. So we will not write, we will write B come first, B come first. So we write six bromo. Because B come first. We will not write okay. B. Then we will write two chloro because after B we have C chloro. And then we have at fourth position we have ethyl because after E, after C we have E, and then at fifth position we have methyl. So their name should be written like this way. Got it? Got it? Sir, so, uh, yes, sir. Uh, why bromo first? Because B is, what was the rule? If there is more than one prefix is present, then their name should be written in alphabetical order. Uh, the okay. name should be written in alphabetical order. So B is the, in alphabetical order, B come first, okay? And if there is more than one prefix is present, same, same prefix is present, then we use di, tri, tetra before their names. For example, one chloro here, one chloro here. So we'll do numbering like this way. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll use three comma four dichloro. Three comma four dichloro will be there. Okay. Got it? Three comma four dichloro should be there. 
Got it? Faiz, you got it? Yes, sir. Yes. So 3, 4 di chloro methane, jobi, whatever it is. If we have like if we have like this, one CS3 group here, one CS3 group here, and we have uh, one C2H5 group here. Okay. So let it is OH group. So one, two, three, four, five. So we'll reuse. We have uh, ethyl, ethyl at three position, ethyl at three position, and two comma four, two comma four are going to have methyl. Okay. So we will write E first because E E come in alphabetical order first. So we we'll write three ethyl, three ethyl. And then, then two comma four dimethyl. Got it? Then two comma four dimethyl will be there. Okay. This is the way of writing the prefix. Why dimethyl? Because at two and four we have di. And don't consider D of di as first in alphabetical order. We will always choose the M. The name of the function group. D is the rule for writing di tri. So don't consider D. So according to this, if D we will consider as an, any alphabetical order, then they should come here and they should come there. But no, we will not consider D of di. D will not be considered in the alphabetical order. M will be considered. Okay, the name of the function group. Got it? Got it? Yes, sir. Now suppose if we have now after prefix, after writing the prefix, we have next is root. For example, if we have chosen the 5 carbon root, like, like we have to write the name of this chloro. We have chloro here. Okay. And okay, then we have one carbon chain. Look at this everyone. Hey, look at this everyone. Because this is important. IUPAC is coming this time. In the previous session it was removed but this time it is coming in the examination. So teacher may ask you. And foreign questions are tough as compared to Indian, Indian level of examination. Okay, the examination that are being conducted in India that are a little bit uh, not tough as comparison to the foreign question that you are going to have. Okay, that's why we should teach you at a standard level. Okay, so let let you board exams. No, we are going. You are going to have the same board exams, but a paper will be a little bit tough for you. The papers are not same that is conducted in India. For example, you are going to have physics exam today, and Indian students are going to have physics exams here in India. So. The paper will not be same. You are going to have a little bit tough exam as compared to those are getting uh, okay. the board exam paper. The board yes, exam board, paper. the board exam paper, yes. Oh no. Okay. One, two, three. There is two always in phone board. We have we have some tough paper. Okay. So, like we will do the numbering. This is main functional group. So the this carbon should be given the lower number. So, how will you write the name? So, first of all, you learn how to write the prefix. So you will write at two and at three position, we have chloro. So we write because C comes first and this is one carbon chain. This is methyl. So M comes later. So you write 2 comma 3 di chloro. Okay. 2 comma 3 di chloro. And then at 4 position we have methyl and methyl 4 methyl and always when they are they are the two, two numbers then we should have comma here. And if we have a one number and an English alphabet, then that should be a, dive, a, a, a dash here, okay? So, English and mathematics number and numerical value dash. English and mathematical value dash, okay? Four methyl and then the next word is root. Root means that how many carbon chain are there? How many atoms are there in the main carbon chain? Six. So, we'll use hex for it. For six, we use hex. Root is completed. The next one is saturation indicator. Saturation indicator. Okay. Saturation indicator. So for saturation indicator, tell me for saturation indicator means there is single bond between each and every carbon atoms. So if there is single bond, we use A and E. So we use A and E. Okay. And in English, we cannot have the two vowels at a simultaneously. Okay. Because we have suffix here also and suffix is at the first position so we don't write one all because one all means we are understanding that it is at first position okay 
So we'll use all as a suffix because after saturation indicator, we have suffix and suffix for alcohol is all. So, but we, we cannot use every time you see that D and I then C. We'll not have any, in English, we no, don't have two vowels simultaneously. So we have to, and here E and O is coming. So we'll remove E here. If, if, if there is no functional group, no age group is there, then we can write all in. But if there is O, all as a test means we need to write all. So we will remove this E from in and we'll write in all. Got it? Write down this one. Copy this one. Then we will practice the questions. That is in the set examiner. Do it fast. Dance. Okay. So here is the uh, write down question number 18 and write it. The question is being asked here, but you need to write the name of each and every one. What should be the name of each and every one? So let's write the name of each and every one here. Try to write the name of each and every one. Are writing? Are you writing? Yes, sir. What is the name of the first one? Of this one. So the name of this one will be written as First, there is no, this is actually the carboxylic acid group. This is carboxylic acid, okay? Got it? So, we should select the first longest carbon chain, including the functional group carbon. Then numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? There is no chlorobromo-iodo is there. Okay, Madhya, are you getting? Jessalyn, Mark. 
Hey, Madhya, Mar, Jesslyn, are you there? Yes, sir. You, Jesslyn, are you there? Madhya? Yes. So, there is no chloro, bromo, iodo, iodo, nitro, or some carbon chain is there. No, no not a carbon chain is here. Straight carbon are there. That is, this is the hydrogens are attached. Okay. That is C and H. Since this carbon has made four bonds, one, two, three here. So, only one hydrogen is attached here. This carbon also one, two, three. So, only one carbon is attached here. One, two, three, four. And then, this carbon has made one, two, three, and then OH. There will be no hydrogen will attach with this one. Okay. Here is one. Look at this. Stop writing down. So there is no chlorobromo and iodine nitro. Means those function groups are not here, which which we use as prefix. We which we write their name as prefix. So no prefix is here. Now and next one is but. So what is this one is but. Main carbon chain is one, two, three, four. So this is but. Then saturation indicator. Is there is double bond between carbon carbon atoms? Yes, sir. And on which carbon it is? Carbon. It is on the second carbon. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Don't yeah. One, two. Don't consider it as third. Okay. This is on the second. Then we will write two in in. Okay. And not why not e n e because we are going to add the suffix also. Okay. Then e n e. Okay, but two in oic acid. So this is but two in oic acid. Okay, got it? Got it? Yes, sir. And what is the what is the name of this one? What is the name of this one? So here. We'll have again no prefix, then but only. But is there, no prefix, but. Then there is single bond between. I ask you that don't, don't uh, get confused with this carbon and oxygen bonds. No, we are just talking about carbon and carbon bonds. Okay. Got it? Well, we are just talking about carbon and carbon bonds. Okay, we are not talking about the carbon and oxygen. So, again, saturation indicator will be A and E. And E are I'm just removing. In which functional group it is? Oic acid. So, we'll use oic acid. Okay. So it's pepped, right? It's five. Five root. No, this is, uh, this is five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is five. I have not counted. So, it will be pentanoic acid. I'm sorry for this one. Including the functional group carbon should be written. I'm not noticed that. This was pent. I have only one, two, three, four. Okay. This is pent. Pent, N is indicating, pent is indicating five carbon chain. N is indicating carbon, carbon single bond. Oic acid is representing the carboxylic function group. And what is the name of this one? Butanoic acid. What is not butanoic acid? This is but and then N carbon, carbon single bond. And then it is not COH. COH is carboxylic acid. It is only OH. And OH is okay. butanol. Alcohol. So butanol. Butanol. Got it? Yes, sir. And what is the name of this one? This will be but N and this is carboxylic acid. OIC acid. OIC acid. So which one is correct? Butanic acid formula is D. Got it? Yes, sir. We check the other names. Write the name of these. This one, this one, this one, and this one. What is the name of this one? One, two, three, four, five, six carbon are there. You start from here and you end here. Okay. So, a carbon will be considered in a straight chain when you start from a position. Like you can go anywhere, but you are not reminding. You are not going to get the two parts. 
at the end if you are moving like this this like this like this but you are you can move from first carbon to the last carbon without interpolation without uh, reviving your path okay so this will be considered as straight chain okay got it okay. you can move from this carbon to this carbon then this carbon then this carbon then this carbon finally okay got it so it is in a straight chain now what's the name of this one what is the name of this one? There are six carbon hex. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there is no functional group. Not alcohol, not carboxylic acid, not aldehyde, not anything. So what is this? Hexane. In only. Only root are here and saturation indicator are there. Okay. You got it? Yes, sir. What is the name of this one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, hexane. Again, same, same, right, sir? Same is there, same hexane. You can come to this carbon, 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 without going interpolation. So this is also hexane. And what is the name of this one? This is not a straight chain because if you start moving one, two, three, four, then you have to come at five. Then you cannot go on this one. You have to revive your. Uh, you have to go back. And this is not a straight chain. Okay. Got it? Okay. So what's Got the it? name, sir? So what's the name for D? So what should be the name? It is like you, you can select the longest carbon like this way. And this, this will be considered as a branch. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And on the second carbon, it is CS3 group. One minute. So main carbon, the chain is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbons. This is the main 5 carbon chain. So, and this is act as a prefix. So we write 2, you will number it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Only 5 should be there in the main chain. Okay. In the main chain, there should be five because we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it is pent. Sorry, no, now we are having prefix. Okay, we are having prefix. Carbon chain is used as prefix. So we'll write the position at which position it is prefix. It is two methyl, two methyl because at two position we have methyl group CH3, and then pent is for the root, and there is no functional group, then pent in. Carbon, carbon, single bond. Got it? Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. I write the UPC name of these following. Write the UPC name of the first one. Butane. What is the UPC name? It is, first tell me which is unsaturated and saturated. Saturated is one which is going to have single bonds or single bonds. And unsaturated is one which is going to have either double or triple bond. Okay. So in question number 24, tell me which is going to have saturated and which one is unsaturated? 24. Tell me fast. The two and four. Two and four. Four are unsaturated. So it is going to have triple bond and it is going to have so this two and four are unsaturated. 
C. Okay. The name of this one will be, tell me, Madhya, tell me what's the name of this one? Amar is there? Yes, Amar is here. Yes, base wise. What's the name of this one? One, two, three, four. So it is butane. Okay. Okay, because there is no prefix, no suffix. What's the name of this one? Nice. Hmm? But at second position we have but two Y N E. Okay. Got it? Yes, sir. What is the name of this one? Uh butane. Butane. The name of this one, third one. The main carbon chain is of three. It is also an isomer of it is also an isomer of butane. What is the name of this one? It's butane, right? It's like this. Di uh, is it like the longest carbon chain? Just tell me how many carbons, uh, of how many carbon it is a means, uh, how many carbon can you take in the longest carbon chain? Uh, here it's four. Four, no. In the longest carbon chain, either you can make the longest carbon chain like this way, okay, or either you can take the longest carbon chain like this way, okay. So only three carbon can be there, mm -hmm. okay. This will be act as a, if we are having like this, then we will take the longest carbon chain of four carbon, okay? One, two, three, four. Got it? But it is not like this. It is like in between. Got it? Okay, uh, sir. Is it di? Uh, mm -hmm. So how can you di do this? Propane. Propane. No. By di, it is only one functional group. One, it is, it is the main carbon chain. It is also main carbon chain carbon. It is also main carbon chain carbon. So why dye? It is only one methyl group. Here. Why dye? If it is like here, one, one C here, one C here, then it will be dye. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Like for example, if you are writing the name of this one, we'll write at one, two, three, or you can write one, two, three. Okay. You can write your number anywhere, you will get the two position for this methyl group. So uh, at two position, at two, we'll two have two methyl, methyl. Two methyl propane. What happened to this one? Two methyl propane. Propane. Okay. Two methyl propane. Got it? Yes, sir. And if we are having like this, this is also an isomer of pentane. What should be the name of this one? Uh, this is dipropane. It is not di. It is 2 comma 2 dimethylpropane. You will do 1, 2, 3. The first methyl group is at 2 position. Second methyl group is also at 2 position. So you will write that position of both. 2 comma 2 dimethyl. It is important, very important because it is the isomer of pentane also. 2,2-dimethyl propane. Got it? Yes, sir. Done? Yes, sir. Okay. Then?
Last one, what should be the name of this one? CH3, it is like CH3, then C, then CH3, and then double bond, then CH3. Either you will select the longest carbon chain like this way. The, um, two, two, I should be selecting the longest carbon chain like this way. Propane, propane. What's it? Why should we select? Yeah. Why should we select? Because the double bond carbon should be in the chain. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Now next, what should be the name of this one? Uh, two methyl propene. Okay, we will do one, two, three. Okay, we will not do like this one. One, two, three. Because if you do. You will get the double bond on second carbon. But if you do like this way, one, two, three, then you will get the double bond at first carbon. Okay. So we'll have two methyl because methyl is at the second position, two methyl propene and prop for the prop P. Okay. And then when it is at the first carbon, don't write first one in. Okay. If it is at the second carbon, then we'll write two in. But if it is not in the first position, then we don't write one. Okay. We understood that if it is in. Not position is not mentioned here. We, we understood that it is understandable that the bond is at the first carbon. Okay. Got it? Two methyl propene. So this is how we write the name of the IUPAC name on the compound. Okay. Got it? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. So in the next class, we'll learn the functional group. Sorry, uh, isomers and the functional isomers. We have done the isomers. And we will note, note the next class topic. Functional isomers is going to be started. Functional isomers. Okay. Functional isomers, isomers, and homologous series. Note it down. Homologous series will be asked in the next class. Okay. Got it? Yes. And it's being asked that what how many covalent bonds are there, like in pentane? How many covalent bonds are there? Covalent bonds. So the formula for the covalent bond is means to calculate the covalent bond. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If there is no functional group. So only if it is alkane or alkene. Okay. Or you can you can make the structures. Okay. For which 12 hydrogens are connected. Okay. So they must be connected with the covalent bond. Means each carbon will be there. Each, each bond will be there. For this car, three hydrogen atoms, three bonds are there. For 12, 12 hydrogen atoms, 12 bonds will be there. And if we are having two carbons, then there is one bond. If we have three carbons, then we have two bonds in between. Okay. So if we are having five carbon, then there will be four bonds in between. One, two, three, and four. Got it? So 12 and then Add this with one carbon less. You will get 12 and 4. You will get 16 bonds. Okay. For example, if I ask you that how many C17H36, how many covalent bonds are there? So you will write 36 for the hydrogens. Okay. And 17 is there. So add one carbon less. You will get what? 16 and 6, 2, and then 40, 52 points will be there. Okay. Got it? Got it, Pivan? So you wrote 16. Yes, because in 17 carbons, there will be, means if we have 5 carbons, then there are 4 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, between carbon carbons. Okay. If it's 17 carbon, then there will be 16 bonds between carbon and carbon. And hydrogens, number of hydrogen bonds are same. Okay. Okay, sir. The structure formula of benzene is this one. See the structure formula of benzene. Other we will we will discuss. So I hope you understood this chapter. The structure formula of ethyne is tell me ethyne. Where option D, no, no, option, option, option A. Eth matlab two carbon. And why any matlab? There should be three. There should be 
triple bond. Triple okay, bond, yeah. and each carbon is bonded with three other carbon, three bonds. So a carbon can make maximum four bonds. So one one hydrogen should be attached. Mm. Three. Okay. Got it. How can three car three hydrogen be attached? No. Because it is already making three bonds here. And how it is? No, it is not. This is wrong. Why it is wrong? Why it is wrong? Because it is y any it should be triple bond. Why it is wrong? Because it is single bond. Single Why bond. it is right? Because okay, got it. Yes, sir. got it. Yes. So dear students, I hope you enjoyed the class. So in the next class, sorry, have you noted that topic? In the next class, I will ask you. Okay. Oh, my love. Oh, my love.